In this video, what we're gonna do is take a look at the new Boolean feature in Cinema 4D. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Cinema 4D just came out with an updated version, 2025.1, and there weren't too many new features, um, but the one I found most useful uh, and a pleasant surprise was the new Boolean. And so that's what I have here where um, I have a couple of nested Booleans. I'm subtracting some objects, including a cloner, some spheres. I'm using a second Boolean to add some cylinders on top of this. And while it's not perfect, um, I'm actually pretty impressed with everything I'm seeing as well as the performance. So let's kind of dive into it really quickly. Our new Boolean object can be found pretty much where the old one was. And with this, we need to place an object inside. And in fact, two objects inside to really kind of see anything. Uh, now the order here does matter. So I do want to put the sphere beneath it. Um, and now what I need to do is come here to the bool and make sure I'm using the correct operation. Right now it's combining these. And so while you may not see exactly what's happening, if you go into lines mode, you'll notice that it did kind of get rid of the part where they intersected and it's making it into a single object. Now subtract is a very common Boolean mode and you can see what we have with that. We also have intersect, which is where they intersect and without where it just kind of deletes the top polygon of the cube with where that sphere was. So subtraction or subtract is probably the most common mode. Um, but what's nice now is we're not just limited to two objects where we were previously when you had to group them before. It feels like what they did is kind of took some of what we could do with the volume builder and layering things up here uh, and just turned it into a new bool object. And I still think the volume builder might have some advantages over this because we can do things like smooth and, and group things together and whatnot um, and choose individual uh, operations all within the same volume builder. Um, but we can nest Booleans together now and they seem to work a little bit better. So we'll see that as well. Performance from what I've seen seems to be pretty good. Um, definitely better than what we had previously. So I've subtracted a few things now. Um, we can even add a cloner into this as well. So if I was to take, say, a capsule, put it in the cloner, I don't want them to be that big. Why don't we just rotate this? All right, so, you know, I try to not use the bool object too often because, like I said, it did have some issues from a performance standpoint as well as some of the geometry it creates not being the, the best looking. But we're able to get some really interesting results here pretty quickly. Now, what I haven't tried is animating. The bool. And that's something that did cause issues before with complex objects. We had that high quality mode that you sometimes had to uncheck in order to get things to animate without flickering or disappearing on you. Thus far, from what I've seen in my experiments, it seems like it works pretty well. Now, we can even nest bools together. So, for instance, I have this as a subtraction. If I want to create another bool here, and this one will set to union, I'll just create, say, I don't know, a couple of platonics. I used cylinders previously, but let's see if this is any harder or different. So we'll just place them kind of something like that and go from here. Place these in the bool, our second bool, along with our current bool, which probably needs to be on top. Um, although I guess if the mode is set to union, it really doesn't matter. And that's still behaving quite well, right? You can see it's combined them pretty nicely. We could always come back and change this to subtract and that worked pretty quickly. I haven't noticed any viewport slowdown, which is great um, or anything like that. So overall, I think this is a great feature. Um, one of the things that actually I wanna switch back to my previous example and, and see if it makes a difference is this high quality normals. And that does fix some of the issues I was having down here. So I'm happy to see that. Uh, overall, great new feature that they added to Cinema 4D. Can't wait to push it further, test it out, um, but very nice addition. That will do it for this one. If there's anything else you would like to see, please leave me a comment down below. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care.